all right then uh, good morning everyone or good evening or good afternoon depending on the location you are at right now uh, i am abhimanyu shikhawat i am a blockchain developer at argo right now i have been mentee at hyperledger uh, and i have been among top bitcoin freelancers working on different blockchain based projects so today i'll be speaking on uh, easy doozer a uh, tool that we built during my mentorship time uh, along with my mentor uh, it will simplify the management of endorsement policies of a hyperledger fabric network so uh, we will be discussing on firstly what are endorsement policies of a hyperledger fabric network then we'll be uh, like discussing about easy doozer and then finally we will uh, be having a small demonstration of easy doozer firstly uh, what uh, what are endorsement policies in hyperledger fabric network so for a transaction to be uh, mined or to be included in the ledger uh, the transaction's data and its state has to be verified by different nodes but since uh, hyperledger fabric is a private uh, private blockchain network the data can cannot and should not be read by all the nodes like there has to be some kind of policies that governs like uh, this data has to be read by only these nodes and this data can be read by only these nodes so these policies are called endorsement policies so uh, endorsement policies tells like this kind of transaction or the transaction coming from this chain code has to be verified by these 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 nodes and then only it can be merged in the ledger problem with uh endorsement policies is like at every stage there are multiple endorsement policies in play firstly we have like channel level endorsement policy then we have chain code level endorsement policy and then finally we have uh, private data collections so firstly it's not easy to like fetch all of them and well, see what kind of policies there there are then uh even fetching them and reading them them is kind of hard like you will have to write long commands with lot of you will have to navigate through a quite verbose json file so it's kind of a tedious task to handle the endorsement policies so now what is easy doozer well uh, easy doozer simplifies management of these endorsement policies for you uh, it abstracts away all the complexities uh, involved with the endorsement policies and provides you a comparatively user uh, easy to easy to use the user interface where you can like see all the endorsement policies involved and you can update all the endorsement policies involved and you policies make a task for you uh easy to user well allows you to firstly fetch them uh, it also fetches the endorsement policies of ch chain code private data collection and channels and it uh, gives you in an easy to read structure uh, like you can read them with comparative ease then reading the big json file then you can update these endorsement policies of the chain code uh and then you can like match the certificates in a comparatively user uh, easier way like if you were doing it in a traditional way you'll have to like put, uh, write long commands put a lot of different paths in the command so like so that you uh, the paths will be of different certificates and it will get quite tedious so easy to use provides you an easier way to do that as well and lastly it can run on multiple platforms you can run it on docker uh, and without docker and it can run on like a uh, linux machine or a mac machine or anything like that uh i'll quickly go through the structure of easy to use now um firstly there is a front end which uh, holds all the certificates and all the information then there is a rest server that uh, parses the data and puts together the whole thing and then there is this peer binary from fabric uh, which uh, takes the, all the data and all the all the calls and then it executes them on fabric node and similarly the data which is coming back from the fabric node will go to peer binary and then peer binary will return some big data which will be then trimmed down by the rest server and it will return it back to the front end and the data that is being returned to front end is quite easier to read as compared to what we originally what we are originally getting so now let's have a small demo of uh, easy doozer uh, let me just uh, let me just switch the tab 
All right. Uh, so here, firstly, what we'll need to do is make sure you are, are having a instance of Haplogen Fabric up and running. So when you do something like Docker PS, it will give you something like this. Then what you have to do is download a release file. Uh, it, it is available on the GitHub. And once you have downloaded that release file, you'll have to extract that. And once you extract the release file, uh, you will. What you'll have to do is uh, modify the uh, modify the pul uh, permissions of the start script. And once you have modified the permissions, you can simply start uh, run the start script, and you will have an instance of Easy Dozer up and running. Now, uh, on the second step, what we have to do is enter all the details like uh, uh, the address or the URL of our server, then peer address, then order address. MSP ID and all kinds of certificates. Uh, well, this is a one-time process, so you'll have to just do it once, and you won't have to do it again and again. Uh, once you set all the certificates, uh, uh, check on check that running on Docker thing. Uh, I think you'll be good to go. And once I have updated all the certificates, let's uh, move forward now. You will be able to see channels policy in this way. Uh, I know it's not exactly the best UI but it segregates all the different policies with different colors and in an easy to read manner. So like um, it shows you a hierarchical way of reading policies. Uh, you can go a bit lower and you can see multiple organizations. And then at the bottom most level, you'll see policies involved with those organizations. Like uh, for uh, writers, there's only one send required. It can be of either uh, admin or client or like, for everything, you you will see policies like this. Now, moving forward, uh, we can also check uh, private data collections. Well, this uh, instance does not have a private data collection, but we'll add one by the end of this uh, demonstration. Uh, meantime, we can check out the channels uh, and different policies as well. Uh, these and but for this, you'll have to have some user level certificate. So again, you'll have to uh, two more certificates, but again, this is only a one-time thing. You won't have to do it again and again. Uh, once I pick the certificates, you will be able to see like what kind of policy the chain code is having and who are the members. Now, moving forward, uh, as I told you, we can also update the policy of our chain code. So here we are moving forward. Uh, you'll have what you will have to do is. Um, uh, put the endorsement policy like uh, this one. And then if you want to add some private data collection as well, you can add a JSON file of private data collection. And once you do that, uh, you will have to add a version as well. Just make sure you are uh, entering all the details same for all the different nodes uh, or all the different organizations because this thing has to be done by all the organizations. Uh, you have to approve the new definition by all the organizations. And once they are all approved, uh, you will be able to commit them. So now we will check the commit readiness of this uh, def uh, this uh, and this new change. So what we'll be doing is like uh, enter all the details again. And then it will be verified like which uh, new update we are talking about. And once we enter exactly the same details, if all the organizations have approved, it will show you like all these organizations have approved for you. And then you will have to put the, for committing, you will have to do it again though. Uh, you'll have to put address of all the organizations and you'll have to actually have their TLC certificates uh, before committing the definition. And once you, once you do this, uh, once you do this, and really sorry for that alarm, uh, once you do this, uh, you will you will see uh, you will see like your definition has been committed. Now we have a private we have like a private data collection added here, and you'll be able to read this new private data collections definition here. And I think this is it for easy to answer. Uh, just write down any questions you have in the questions box, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, so we have a question. Uh, does the tool provide an option to endorse from each organization to exchange the signed documents across them? 
uh you actually cannot exchange the signed documents across them uh you you will have to have the different instances running of easy doser at different uh at different uh, organizations and you can approve the changes but uh, there have to be a collective uh, system where you can like uh, have certificates of both the both, both the organization or all the organizations to commit the chain codes new definition uh i hope i answered your question uh if there are any other questions just write them down in the chat uh, questions box and i'll have i'll be happy to answer them uh no questions uh all right then uh i think i'll be signing off thank you for joining my session and thank you for asking this question uh have a good day people uh, enjoy the hyperledger global forum